So it really, but working with people, I find providing support is the biggest thing that people need. Yeah. You know, I think in medicine and healthcare, too much we've kind of lived on this system that, you know, you go into the doctor, you get your prescription, you go home, and you try to do things. Yeah. Uh, when we work together, uh, like I also do group medical visits, you know, when people come together to talk about health-based conditions. But from a weight-related perspective, when, when the men and ladies that attend these groups come, like the insights that they share, the stories that come out, the true, like, you know, there's tears in our groups and yeah. there's laughter in our groups. Yes. And I could never get that in a one-to-one -one visit with patients. Right. I, I really couldn't uh, because we learn more from the people that are around us. So yeah. that's been exciting. Like, I really love that part of my medical practice right now. Yeah. When I came in, you got up and gave me a hug. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. and I, I think there's, there's therapy in that, don't mm -hmm. you? That's right. Mm -hmm. For sure. Touch, we don't do enough of that, you know, and just, you know, shaking someone's hand. Yeah. You know, I find whenever a student comes into the hospital, because, you know, we teach residents and medical students here at Miramichi, and I tell them, one of the first things, if I just met them, especially if they're a junior student, yeah. I said, the key thing you should do when you go into a room is shake the person's hand. Really, eh? And acknowledge everybody else that's in the room and shake their hand as well. Really? Because that makes people feel comfortable and at ease. Yeah. And so much of a relationship that a patient has with a physician is trust. Right. So The, the reason they're in the hospital is dis-ease. That's right. <laughs> And so what you try to bring is ease. The ease is... Take the diss out of it. That's right. Yeah. yeah.